Jax begins with breaking news. And Chandler Morgan, we join you with breaking news now. We have learned that Aiden Fucci is changing his plea to guilty. Let's take a listen in right now. To a different county. You understand that, again, once you enter this plea, that issue is not something that, that would be appealable anymore. Yes, Your Honor. You understand that now that we're going to proceed here today with this plea? And um, so you'll be giving up that appellate right as well. Yes, sir. Have you had sufficient time to talk about this decision with your attorneys? Yes, sir, I did. Did you also get a chance to discuss it with your parents? Yes, sir. Have you also had sufficient time to talk with your attorneys about your case in, itself and any possible defenses that you might have raised through this charge? Yes, sir. Uh, I know that you were housed up in Duval County. Did that in any way preclude your ability to, to speak with your attorneys? Have your attorneys been able to, to meet with you and have uh, conversations with you about your case? They did. Did you get to go over uh, the evidence that uh, the state has and, and that they've uh, supplied in discovery? Have you discussed all that evidence with your attorneys as well? Yes, Your Honor. Do you need any time uh, at all, any more time at all, to speak with your attorneys before I accept your plea today? No, sir. Are you satisfied with your attorney's representation of you? Yes, sir. Did your attorneys explain to you that if you were not a U.S. citizen entering this plea, could have subjected you to being deported from the United States? Yes, sir. And you've not ever previously been convicted of any type of sexually violent or sexually uh, motivated crime, have you? No, sir. <clears throat> State, have you supplied uh, the defense all of the discovery in this case? Yes, sir. Are you aware of any physical evidence that can be tested for DNA that might exonerate this defendant? No, Your Honor. The people said you had sufficient time to review all the discovery and discuss it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Are you aware of any physical evidence that can be tested for DNA that might exonerate your client? No, sir. Does the statement have a factual basis, please? Yes, Your Honor. On or about May 9, 2021, in the county of St. John's in the state of Florida, the defendant, A. Fucci, did unlawfully kill a human being, Tristan Bailey, said killing being from a premeditated design to affect the death of Tristan Bailey. And furthermore, during the commission of set offense, A. Fucci used a weapon, contrary to Florida statutes, 7804, sub 1, sub 8, and 775.087, sub 1. Any objections or exceptions to the factual basis? For the purposes of the plea, yes, Your Honor. You, you have exceptions or you do not? D no exceptions, accepting it for the purpose of the plea. All right. I do find a sufficient factual basis for the charge of first degree murder. Mr. Fucci, is it your desire to enter a plea of guilty to one count of first degree murder? Yes, sir. I accept your plea. I find it's entered into you freely, voluntarily, and intelligently that you are coherent and alert and that you understand the nature of the charges and the consequences of your plea. I do. We need to pass this matter off for a sentencing hearing. Uh, I know that this, uh, we probably aren't ready to pick a date yet. Why don't we come back? Uh, let's talk a little bit about what's, what we need to do before we get to sentencing. So let me hear from the state. Yes, sir. I think. Um if we want to state uh, a discovery deadline uh, where both parties have to disclose any additional evidence for purposes of sentencing, any witnesses that have not already been disclosed, um, and then from there, we can set aside in February if you're on the right, and probably pick a date sometime in February once we exchange those lessons. Pick a date for the sentencing yes. out in March or April, is that what you're suggesting? Yes, sir. Ms. Peoples, does that schedule work for you? Yes, sir. How, how long will both sides need to compile a list of witnesses to uh, for the sentencing hearing? I believe 10 days would be sufficient, Your Honor. All right, so 10 days from today, uh, both sides will uh, tender a witness list and any other discovery uh, that they intend to utilize. Obviously, if there are letters of impact statements, things of that nature, I would expect those. But if it's anything of evidentiary value, uh, that needs to be uh, provided within 10 days of today. I'm also going to order a pre-sentence investigation. Ms. Peoples, are you requesting that as well? Yes, sir. And a predisposition report. I believe you would be entitled to that. So we're going to order both of those reports. Um, so then we'll get working on both of those. Do you want to just a special request with that uh, order that if the court could note to the um, 
meeting DJJ and to the, I believe it would be the Sheriff's Office, that Defense Counsel wants to be present for those interviews? I will absolutely uh, will notify them as well that you uh, should be present for those interviews. Mr. Fucci, your attorneys are going to be present with you, but there will be, uh, there's going to be a couple of reports that are going to be compiled for the court. They're going to be used as an aid to the court in order to determine what the appropriate sentence is. Uh, there will be someone who will come out and speak with you. Uh, again, your attorneys will be present when that occurs. Uh, they may also speak to your family members, and then also the state and your attorneys, and, uh, and the also the, uh, the victim's family members as well. Um, so why don't we come back on February 23rd at 9 a.m. We'll call it a status, and at that time, we will select the date for our sentencing hearing. How many days do you anticipate needing for the sentencing hearing itself? Uh, two, Your Honor. Two okay. days. Stay on the day behalf. I would say reserve one for us. Plus whatever. Okay. Well, I will. We'll, we'll set aside. We'll find two days. Um, you all tell me when when you both will be ready, and then we will select those two days. And then any hearings or any motions that we need to address uh, on February 23rd, we can address those at that, that time as well. And I believe that covers everything. Is there anything else we need to address from the defense? Yes, Your Honor. A point of clarification that Mr. Fucci had said that he read it. I actually read it out loud to him. It's a minor point, but I just wanted to clarify that on the waiver form. Um, the, the plea form? That's correct. Okay. And so, Mr. Fucci, when I asked you about whether or not you read it, your attorney actually read it read the plea form to you, is that right? Yes, sir. And she went over all those rights that I went over with you as well? Yes, sir. And she, again, uh, answered any and all questions about everything that's contained on that document for you. She did. And your parents were also present during that conversation as well? Were they present as well? No, it was a separate conversation with the parents. Okay. And Mr. Fucci just wanted to make a short statement. I just want to say I played out guilty. Uh, and I'm sorry for the Bailey family and my family. Okay. Okay. I'm sure that there'll be an opportunity, obviously, at sentencing hearing to uh, speak again uh, at that time, okay? Yes, sir. All right, uh, any other matters we need to address? Thanks. Anything else from the defense? No, Your Honor. No, sir. All right, well, uh, we're adjourned. We'll see you back here February 23rd at 9 a.m. Thank you. The board is adjourned. You just heard Aiden Fucci change his plea to guilty for first degree murder and you heard him there also briefly apologize to his family and Tristan Bailey's family. The judge did accept that plea there. Fucci faces mandatory minimum of 40 years in prison. He will be back in court on February 23rd and we just again heard him speak some words there apologizing to both families for this and background for you 16 year old Aiden Fucci is accused of killing 13 year old Tristan Bailey in St. John's County on May 9th of 2021. We have much more coverage on this for you ahead on Action News Jacks all throughout the day and on Action News Jacks at noon on CBS 47 to the, for the very latest in this case, including our extensive coverage on this. Just head to actionnewsjacks.com. This has been a CBS 47 Fox 30 Action News Jax breaking news update. For continuing coverage of this story, download the Action News Jax news app.